Hi there. Uh, I've been doing a lot of study into spirits and the spirit world. And my understanding is that everybody has a spirit and that we can communicate with spirits from the great beyond. And that sometimes that communication is negative and we can be possessed or obsessed um, by spirits. And uh, a lot of times our addictions are motivated by spirits and we can't necessarily blame the spirits because um, they're just kind of joining in our addiction kind of the same way that you go out and drink with a bunch of friends. Everybody's collectively in the addiction. So, so like for me, if I'm overeating, um, if it's true that there are spirits there, they're just kind of enjoying it with me. Um, but there's such a thing as overcloaking, apparently, according to the divine truth teachings. And that is a situation where a spirit will move your body. Their influence is so strong that they essentially take over your body and they use, they, they act for you. They act through you, which is pretty insidious. And you're not supposed to let that happen. You shouldn't let that happen. Anyway, I've been thinking a lot about that in my own personal life and how I like to do impressions. Um, and I've wondered... Uh, how many of these impressions that I do, how many of them are just kind of like an overcloak that's occurring? Because sometimes I think I'm pretty good with them. Um, I've had reactions from people where they, they really think I'm kind of in an altered state or last night I was having a lot of fun at a, uh, uh, Christmas party and people thought I was on drugs. That's a common, uh response that I get when I am in a certain mood and I think it's very possible you know I have to be honest with myself that I'm being overcooked in some way so um, I don't know if that's possible I don't know if that's I don't know if sometimes I pray and I wonder am I am I myself or am I someone else here um, I can't I don't think I've ever seen spirits in my life so I can't say for sure that that there is a spare world. Um, I've only heard great testimony from people who have had out-of-body and near-death experiences, direct testimonies from people that I've even met, even in the last week. I, I met someone that talked about an out-of-body out of experience. So there's a lot of people that testify that they've seen their own body and, and they've, you know, from, from an out-of-body state, they've seen their own body, which indicates that they are in an altered state and their body is just kind of like a machine. So I believe there is a spirit world, even though I can't prove it for myself. I pray regularly to see spirits, although I'd rather not see dark spirits because I understand that they're pretty frightening to behold. But uh, I hope that can be something that I experience at some point without having like a near-death experience where I deal with some kind of, you know, trauma or injury. I don't want that if I can prevent it. But in lieu of that, I'm, and in this study, I, I wonder and I question how often am I actually overcloaked? And I guess I'd like to, if only for my benefit, um, go over some characters that I'll often use. Um, so one character is a gay guy, and I don't know if I can very well bring that forward, or I, I don't know if that's a spirit or just an impression, but, um, yeah, I don't think I can bring that too easily. Maybe a cheerleader would be easier, kind of like a, uh, hmm. uh, uh, what do they call, like a, like a valley girl? That's it, valley girl. Um, I feel kind of embarrassed to, to do this, and uh, especially after talking for five minutes in a, on a serious note. 
to switch into Valley Girl, but I can do it quite easily given the situation. Um, anyway, Valley Girl is kind of like, oh my god, did he seriously do that? Did he seriously say that to you? Oh my god. Are you serious? Ew, that is so bad. I kind of feel like that's a little bit like Jimmy Fallon. I've seen Jimmy Fallon do that a lot. I feel like that's more of an impression than an actual spirit, but let me try my Englishman, which I tend to do pretty good recently, you know, lately. Kind of sounds like uh, Stewie from Family Guy. However, are you today? Are you doing well? Excellent. I'd like to bring to your attention that uh, I at this time am not Theo, but I am someone else. I am Francis from England. Sorry, that, that's pretty embarrassing, but it's... I don't know if that uh, is any good. Um, now I just want to shut off the video. Like, this is real, seems really stupid. But I think there's some purpose to this because when I'm by myself, I will talk like this like I'll I'll have I'll th I'll think about something a scenario and I'll respond in one of these voices it just comes right out and I've been doing it for many years and I, I'm sometimes afraid that at some point I'll just be caught on the street I'm just the guy that talks to himself and I think that would be a bad 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 situation I don't want to find out that I'm I have I have a friend that that thinks you know he makes jokes about it but I I'm pretty sure he thinks that I've gone insane and he'll often um, or that I'm going insane and it's funny because I I first started to tell him that he was insane and now he thinks that I'm insane he'll show me def definitive proof that I'm insane and it's kind of a joke but it, he's kind of being serious so yeah but another one is the librarian. Um, which is so simple, it's just, um, excuse me, excuse me, you're not supposed to do that, you are not supposed to do that, and that'll come out every time that I feel like I'm at work, and I think, should I do this, or should I do this, and should I do something this way, or should I do it the other way? And I'll think, well, the policy is to do it this way. But you never really want to do what the policy, at least for me, I never really want to do what the policy dictates that I do because it feels so stultifying. And it's like, if I live my life by policy, which I sometimes feel that I should do, it it I feel like my life would be very stagnant over time. So I have this creation or spirit um, that... I bring forth that is just like the 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 librarian that kind of says shh, which you don't really see anymore. I've never seen a librarian that is that harsh that shushes people. <laughs> in 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 my later life, at least in the last twenty years, I, I've never seen that. But um, it just in, embodies the type of person that would you know, would be a staunch rule enforcer. And I, yeah, I don't know. Another one is the overly nice boss, which I don't really use that often. Um, but it's just, hey, how's it going? How, how are you doing? Are you doing all right? Are you doing good? That's great. You gonna come to the company barbecue, are ya? Then you're gonna come over, we're gonna have Josh on the grill, and he's gonna be he's gonna be tossing some good bison burgers, you know? And we're gonna have Susan making salad. She know how good her salads are. You better make sure you come to the party. Alright? Yeah. Well it's good seeing ya. Okay. So that's the overly nice boss. And uh here's 
this is the black guy, and, this, and now I feel racist, so I might be racist, but this black guy has, I don't know, I, I think he's an older black guy, he's a man, and I, I, I don't know what his problem is, but I think it, either he doesn't like communicating with white people, or he, he just finds them strange, or, but basically he, he calls everything crazy, so you could pick the most innocuous thing, and like, sometimes I'll think of when McDonald's first made burgers one dollar and put them on the dollar menu. And he'll say, uh, <laughs> you try to tell me. Actually, it doesn't sound very black. Many friends have said that it doesn't sound very black. So I'm probably very racist. But, um, oh, you try to tell me that McDonald's made burgers. <laughs> it's only a dollar. <laughs> Are you trying to play? He's trying to tell me that it's not McDonald's burger. It used to be two dollars, and they made it a dollar. <laughs> Man, you must be crazy. So, and he'll just do that for everything. Man, you must be crazy. So, that's pretty cringeworthy, isn't it? Um, there's the southern guy, which I don't bring through very well. Sometimes I have that really good, and then I don't. I haven't been using that a lot lately. <laughs> I don't know if there's any real point to this video. I think it's a waste of everybody's time, but um, I just wonder, am I going to become, you know, some buffoon that talks to himself all the time? And then, but sometimes I, I really feel like it's really enough to stay entertained. And I think life is about having fun, that you should have fun in life. And I get very bored with most conversations I have with people, I, I don't find that I can have very meaningful conversations with people. I, I really struggle to to talk with people, and that might be partly because um, I think I might be a little forceful to to want to talk about the things that I'm interested in. Um, I often talk about what I would consider contentious issues with people, and I probably have a lot of issues in regards to having regular conversations. But yeah, like I always think that life should be fun and if a conversation is not fun, I don't want to be a part of it. And and if it's not really interesting or really, uh, or if I don't feel like I'm being edified or educated or growing at all, then I don't want to be a part of it. And so I avoid a lot of conversations. So I find that I kind of, maybe for that reason, among others, I stick to myself a lot and if the spirit world is real, um, I think there's good, uh, it's, it's not a horrible argument to say that I'm actually having a dialogue with people that I can't see. I don't think I've given very good evidence of that today. I think if, if a camera was on me and I didn't know it and it was catching me actually talk, and I mean, I bring these, these voices out just like, one after the other, after the other, after the other, like really easily. And, and sometimes I think it's just an impression, but other times I think it's a, it's an actual spirit that I kind of allow to come through, but maybe I'm just like, like Jim Carrey, but not as talented. I'd like to do impressions. That could be it too, but it would be interesting to see that if I do become that, uh, buffoon that is always talking to himself that people avoid. And I pass into the spirit world and find out that I've actually been talking to real spirits in my life when I can actually see spirits. That would be highly interesting. 14 minutes.